I believe that uh, personalized approach is one, of course, the, the way to go forward. I think we need to um, develop better application also on how to run experiments, effective experiments at home for the individuals to take it from the lab to home-based stimulation. There is a great uh, work on that by multiple labs now in the world, and there is actually a, a submitted paper by uh, distinguished researchers uh, that discuss this, how it should go forward. So I think this would be a, a great benefit because with the neurostimulation method that I'm discussing, it's really feasible to move it to home. It's not as expensive. It will allow the accumulation of big data and uh, eventually allow more effective and replicable findings in order to allow better treatment. One thing that I missed um, when when I so when I said about that the idea to use a home based neurostimulation, the other benefit of using home based neurostimulation is that the population could be more heterogeneous. I think one of the problem is that we target a, in a lot of cases a small sample, very homogeneous population, and we need to take into account multiple characteristics. Um, in order that the intervention would be benefit not to uh, a very narrow um, type of patient, but to really patients from different uh, different um, societies in order to um, allow a, a, a better treatment, not to a, a given demographic um, in terms of population.